These are the real words and requests made to a child online by an adult she didn't know. This is how, in their own homes, in their own bedrooms, children are being coerced and abused on the internet by strangers. An offender won't think twice about asking a seven-year-old to take their clothes off. The volume is, is shocking and it becomes greater and greater and greater as time goes on. Rosa has to hide her identity because of the sensitivity of her job. She searches and removes self-generated child abuse on the web every day. Videos and images created by children after being coerced on social media to do it. Some groomed for weeks, others for minutes. Children, they might choose to broadcast themselves or live stream themselves dancing, telling jokes, doing homework, and then an offender will target them directly and turn the conversation or the live stream into something sexual. And when one child starts to perhaps respond, all the other predators, like sharks in the water, will zoom into that particular live stream and encourage the child further. Without social media, I don't think the abuse would have happened. Child victims of sexual assault don't simply get over it because it's done online and not in person. The recording and sharing of their abuse also means it can last forever. I was self-harming. I was going out and using alcohol irresponsibly at the age of 15, I tried to take my own life, um, and then again at the age of 17, it was all because I was, I was being abused and I didn't understand what was going on, um, and I was just trying to find a way to escape that. From the age of 11, Becky was groomed on multiple social media platforms, abuse that went on for seven years. I could be sat in bed talking to him, I could be having dinner with my parents, and getting messages from him and they would have no idea. He very quickly was able to take control of my life, so I would do anything that he asked me. Becky's parents didn't recognise the warning signs. Many don't. I don't know why he's doing this. You need to tell someone, Alfie. Helping to make the online environment safer for children means getting them to understand the risks. Why do people make and share videos online? Teaching teachers to teach about it is now a tool being used by the UK's National Crime Agency. We have seen the scale and the severity of online child abuse increase over recent years. So while we're tackling that by you know, going after the most serious offenders online and arresting them, we're also here in school doing the preventative work which enables us to educate children and young people about how to be safer and the professionals around them. But the government's greatest chance to protect the innocent is with its online safety bill, their opportunity to regulate social media. Those working in child protection, though, don't think it will do enough. The online safety bill needs to be strengthened. It needs to better respond to the dynamics of child sexual abuse and the scale and the extent of harm. We're seeing a tsunami of inherently preventable harm against children. Reducing the vulnerability of children is paramount, else more childhoods will be caught in the net.